Okay, Captain, let's run through it. When you arrive in the year 1977, extract the two capsules that I just injected under your skin. You and Johnny will need to ingest the capsules. They contain nanobots that will generate a tachyon field around your bodies. This will trigger a quantum shift that will bring you and Johnny back to the present. How do you know Johnny is when and where I'm going? Well, the computer's analysis of ancient historical archives revealed that there's a 97% probability that he should be present when and where you are time traveling. Those are decent odds. So, how sure are you about this quantum time shift thing? Well, both the computer and myself are optimistic about it. All of our tests here on the ship have been successful. How do I find Johnny when I get there? The address is 1428 Elm Street. In case you forget, I inscribed it on the capsules. You think of everything, Doc. Yeah, yeah. Okay, listen to me, Captain. You will need to move quickly, as you will only have about four hours to complete your mission. The nanobots in the capsules will deconstruct due to the tachyon radiation from the quantum time shift. Darn. No time to catch a movie when I'm there. Yeah. Ironically enough, time is not on our side. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do this. As I'm administering these nanobots intravenously, a tachyon field will be created much faster than adjusting them orally. So, how long will- Hmm, guess it worked. How dreamy. This tape. Oh, oh, oh. Hey buddy, this is Miley. How about giving me all your money? Now! But I have no money to give you. Yeah, right. You want any more? I'm out of here! Thanks for the welcome. Time to find Johnny. Fourteen twenty eight Elm Street. I hope it's not a nightmare to find. anyone. Who is it? Who do you think? Marty McFly? Neil? I thought I'd never see you again. Y your arm is bloody. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Come in, please. Johnny, I've time-traveled here to bring you back to the future. Oh, really? I thought you came over to borrow a cup of milk. You know, I've been living here for five years. Where, where were you when I was living on the streets the entire year of 1972? When I accepted you were not coming for me, I let go. I adjusted. I became part of 20th century society, and to be honest, I like it better here. Most of the movies are legal and look great on the big screen. Neil, I get to live on Earth. No one lives on Earth in the 41st century. No one. And the music of the 1970s is quite groovy. Groovy, really? I guess you've taken up some of the local dialect. It's been just six months since I last saw you, so I guess that makes you my older brother now. That's going to take some getting used to. Anyway, we can reconnect back on the Buffalo Skies. Neil, 
I don't want to go back. I like it here. And most importantly, the original Star Wars Episode 4 is playing at the local cinema in three days. I'm not going back to the future. Three days, eh? Darn it. Anyway, you don't belong here. You have to come back. You can't risk interfering with the proper course of history. I drive a postal jeep for a living. All I do is go to the movies, play arcade games, watch TV, and listen to music. I doubt I will affect the future, or history, or whatever it is. How do you know it's not my destiny to live the rest of my life here? You don't belong here. You've said that, Neil. I'm going to stay. You don't have a choice. You're coming with me. What are you going to do? Beat me up and carry me over your shoulder like some kind of caveman? Johnny, you're not being reasonable. Your destiny is not delivering packages and letters on 20th century Earth. It's flying spaceships. Darn it, Johnny. You're my navigator. And... You're my brother. Please. The Buffalo Skies needs you. I need you. And I miss you. Okay. Fine. I'll go. I'm glad that you've come to your senses. So, how do we get back to the future? We both have to swallow one of these capsules. That's a really big pill. How does it work? The capsules have these nanobot things with some kind of weird radiation field. When activated, it causes a person to travel in time and space. Ask Doc when we get back. He can explain it better. Okay. Well, I'm gonna need a glass of water. Uh, do you need one? No, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Neil, I don't know how you take pills without water. That thing was huge. I'm glad you decided not to fight me on this. I wasn't looking forward to giving you a suppository. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, how long until these things take us on our magical mystery tour? I don't know. I'm sure it will be any moment. Doc injected me the last time and it was really quick. I actually feel it happening right now. See you on the other side, bro. Goodbye, Neil. I'm sorry. But my destiny won't be flying tin cans around the galaxy with you. I will miss you, brother. Star Wars Episode 4. T minus 67 hours. Yes! Finally! Captain, wake up. You requested a wake up call at 0700. Huh? What? I made it back. I found Johnny, and I gave him the nanobots. Is he back yet? Sorry, Captain. I do not know to what you are referring. I went back in time to bring Johnny to the present. Johnny's not here yet. Captain, you've been asleep for the last eight hours. Time travel is theoretically impossible, so you did not go back in time to rescue Johnny. You must have been dreaming. You and your sorted dreams. Sorry, Captain, but Johnny is still missing. Darn it! This is 
not good. Please be a dream. Please be a dream. Please be a dream. Please be a dream. Please be a dream.